We are checking in with NJIT Women's Basketball, the summer session of 2023. I'm Drew Casey, and we are joined by redshirt junior athletically, senior academically, Lizzie Litwinko, senior. How does that feel? Wow, it feels pretty crazy. I mean, I feel like I was just coming into my freshman year literally yesterday. Ari and I were having this conversation yesterday in the room when we were talking. Um, I just can't believe it. I mean, four years already with these girls in this program is just time has flown by. How do you think you've grown over, over the time? Um, I think I've matured a lot as a person. I mean, you kind of have to coming sure. into college basketball. There's a lot that you take on and you might not be ready for it freshman year, but mm -hmm. you learn quickly. All the people around you help you and you learn where you can look for help. So I think just maturing its probably the biggest place that I've grown. Let's talk a little bit about the summer session, July and August here on campus. What has it been like, uh, especially for you coming back from, from an injury last season to you know, be back with the group here and, and getting ready for, for another season? Yeah, so it's definitely a different experience for me. I mean, in the spring this past season, I was like going to practices and all this stuff, but I couldn't do anything. I was just like out on the side. So. Now it's still I'm non-contact, so mm -hmm. it's definitely a different experience than I've had in the past. But we have six freshmen, so there's a lot of learning to do for everybody. So I've actually been able to still play for most of the practices that we've had and do pretty much everything that we've been doing. We'll do contact maybe like the last 10 minutes of practice. So mm -hmm. it's, it's honestly been a great experience because there's a lot of teaching to do. Like I said, there's a lot of different areas where I feel like our class kind of, their class kind of reminds me of our class in a way because okay. they're so big. Sure. So like we had six, they had five. So it's just a whole new experience to be able to teach them. And now we're like, but in the past few years, we had like seniors obviously above sure. us, juniors above us, whatever mm -hmm. it was. So like we didn't, take every opportunity we had to teach necessarily, I think. And there wasn't as big of a freshman class coming in. But now I feel like we're really taking that role and like running with it. Well, from what you just said there, it sounds like your group, the, the newcomer group, the freshman group, yeah. everybody, it sounds like everyone's meshed together pretty oh, well this absolutely. summer, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, Being in Maple Hall is actually huge because we're all in the same place. and. This being like the first month that we're all like living together and like getting to know each other, it's so important that like they're not in Cyprus and we're in Oak <laughs> and somebody's in Laurel. We're all in the same place, so it just gives us an opportunity. I can just text one of them and be like, "Hey, you want to come over for dinner?" You know what I mean? It's not a big deal, which is definitely a benefit. Awesome. These are all residence halls on campus for the Highlanders fans <laughs> yeah. out there, getting a little inside knowledge of NJIT. Um, Lizzie, I want to talk about all of the activities you guys have done off the court this okay. summer. Do you have any sort of favorite memory or a cool night or a cool trip or anything that, that you guys have done that, that stood out to you? Yeah, 100%. I'll let Aria talk more about this. But we <laughs> went to a um, WNBA game for Aria's birthday, and that was definitely the best experience that <laughs> we, we've had this summer. It was just like the weekend, honestly, was full of like we all went out to dinner as a team. We hung out afterwards, and then the next day we went to the WNBA game, and we were in like a box suite, and there was food, and we went on the court. It was I'm jealous. Yeah, <laughs> it was a great experience. Um, lastly, let's talk about uh, the academic life here at NJIT. Very mm -hmm. rigorous, of course. You've done a fantastic job over your career. Business major, what are you hoping to, uh, to, to do with that? What are some things that maybe you are doing in terms of cool opportunities? Right, so in terms of business, um, in the future, I really hope to kind of like open my own like maybe AAU organization or something okay. like that and do training with basketball. But as of right now, my mom owns a gym in Connecticut where I'm from and she has given me the opportunity to like kind of cover any classes I want to cover and I would start getting into personal training but like I'm not really home enough to do that sure. quite yet but I just got my certificate so I'm really trying to work nice. on that and like almost like build a brand so that when I get out of college it's all set up. Awesome congratulations let's give Thank your mom you. some love too what's the name of the gym? Um, Workout Harder Fitness okay. in Manchester, Connecticut. All right, there we go. Lizzie Litwinko, the daughter of the owner of that gym. <laughs> Have a great season. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for having me.